He is known for leading expeditions to explore the western shores of the Gulf of California and Alta California. He is recognized for mapping the California coastline and naming prominent features such as San Diego Bay, Point Conception, and Monterey Bay. His name is Sebastián Vizcano. In the annals of exploration, there are few figures whose courageous voyages have left an indelible mark on the world. One such explorer was Sebastián Vizcano, a Spanish navigator who played a pivotal role in the discovery and mapping of the California coastline during the 16th and 17th centuries. Born in Extremadura, Spain, Vizcano's most significant expeditions took place in the Baja California Peninsula and Alta California, forever changing our understanding of these regions. In 1593, Vizcano was granted the disputed concession for pearl fishing on the western shores of the Gulf of California. Determined to explore this uncharted territory, he set sail with three ships and reached La Paz, Baja California Sur, in 1596. It was here that Vizcano bestowed the site with its modern name and attempted to establish a settlement. However, challenges such as resupply difficulties, declining morale, and a devastating fire led to the abandonment of the settlement. In 1601, Vizcano was appointed by the Spanish Viceroy in Mexico City to lead a second expedition. His mission was twofold, to locate safe harbors in Alta California for Spanish galleons returning from Manila to Acapulco, and to map the California coastline in detail. Departing from Acapulco on May 5, 1602, Vizcano sailed with three ships, including the San Diego, San Tomas, and Trace Reyes. On November 10, 1602, Vizcano entered and named San Diego Bay, marking the beginning of his exploration along the California coast. As he sailed northward, he bestowed names upon prominent features, including the Santa Barbara Channel Islands, Point Conception, the Santa Lucia Mountains, Point Lobos, Carmel River, and Monterey Bay. Notably, Vizcano was the first person in recorded history to document the existence of the Monterey Cypress Forest at Point Lobos, a significant ecological discovery. During the expedition, Vizcano's ship, the San Diego, became separated from the Trace Reyes. While Vizcano turned back after passing Cape Mendocino due to the deteriorating health of his crew, the commander of the Trace Reyes, Martín d'Aguilar, continued further north, potentially reaching present-day Oregon as far as Cape Blanco and Coos Bay. Tragically, nearly half of Vizcano's crew, approximately 45 men, succumbed to scurvy and starvation during the arduous journey. The Diary of Antonio de la Ascension, a Carmelite friar and chronicler who accompanied Vizcano's expedition, provides invaluable insights into the voyage and its discoveries. One of the significant outcomes of Vizcano's exploration was the enthusiasm it generated for establishing a Spanish settlement at Monterey. However, due to various circumstances, including the departure of the Conde de Monterey, who had supported the settlement, the plans were postponed for another 167 years. Sebastián Vizcano's expeditions have had a profound impact on the world, paving the way for future explorers and shaping our understanding of the California coastline. His meticulous mapping and documentation of the region laid the foundation for further exploration and colonization efforts. Today, we honor Vizcano as a visionary explorer whose contributions continue to resonate and inspire the spirit of discovery. Sebastián Vizcano embarked on a significant journey, carrying a Japanese delegation led by Tanaka Shosuke from Mexico to Japan. As an ambassador, Vizcano had the opportunity to meet with the shogun Tokugawa Hidetada and his father, Tokugawa Ayasu, the retired first shogun. However, Vizcano's disregard for Japanese court etiquette strained diplomatic relations. Despite this setback, he conducted a survey of Japan's east coast, in search of the mythical islands Rico de Oro and Rico de Plata, but to no avail. Disappointed, Vizcano returned to Japan. Two years later, in 1613, Vizcano embarked on another journey, accompanying the Japanese embassy led by Heiskert Tsunanaga to Mexico. However, during their time in Acapulco, Vizcano found himself involved in a violent altercation with the Japanese, resulting in serious injuries. This incident was documented by the Aztec historian Kaimalpahin in his journal, Annals of His Time. Despite the altercation, the Japanese embassy continued their journey to Mexico City, where they eventually boarded a ship bound for Europe. Sebastián Vizcano's experiences in Japanese relations were marked by both diplomatic challenges and personal hardships. His encounters with Japanese dignitaries and his explorations of the Japanese coast left a lasting impact on his journey as a navigator and explorer. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.